hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video we will be seeing how can we fix the lenovo idea pad stuck on black screen so what we're gonna do is fix one we will try a hard reset for that we will remove all the externals whether it's the ac adapter or hdmi usb connected to it and then click on the power button for around 30 seconds and after that we'll wait for a few seconds and try plugging back the AC adapter and whatever you have connected and then again on the power button then we will reset the display mode uh, a misconfigured display settings can also lead to black screen so resetting the display mode might help you so for that we will open the PC and go to the screen after that, if you are connected to any external monitor, try unplugging the HDMI or VGA cable and plugging it back. You can refresh your display with a keyboard shortcut. Just you need to press Windows key plus Ctrl plus Shift plus B. So you need to click four keys together. So Windows, so Windows plus Ctrl plus Shift plus B. Is the B okay? B. So you need to press Control Shift Windows and B together to reset the display. And it can often reset your display's connection without the need for more complicated steps. Next, we will put this laptop in safe mode. Safe mode starts your PC with only essential programs and drivers only. So to go to safe mode, we will shut down the PC. So we will completely power off the PC and then we will close the PC and open the PC and press F2 continuously. So we will enter the safe mode or the Lenovo utility mode. And here we will, you can reset it as you wish and then simply click on exit and save configuration. And then let it get turned on and we'll perform the next step. So when once it's turned on, we will open the PC. And perform the next fix that is we will update the graphics driver for that we will go to device manager so click windows and x and go to device manager and after going to device manager so you can find the software devices go to it extend it and then right click on it and then you will simply update the driver both the drivers you will update these both drivers so you're gonna update both the drivers so by following this it should solve the problem of the black screen so that's all for the video thank you for watching if you think i helped you in some way do like share comment and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel